Dead, I am the one, exterminating sun, slipping through the trees, strangling the breeze. Dead, I am the sky, watching angels cry, while they slowly turn, conquering the worm. Indeed, you would want to conquer it. You would not want to feed into this thing <coughs> at any price. And I'm going to tell you why in this video. Um, yeah, so it's come to my attention in the last few years or so that um, he's finally gotten onto the worm now. <laughs> I can. I had the fucking worm going in my younger years, 20 years ago, maybe now. <coughs> And uh, it's taken years a while, so I suppose it's safe for me to come out now and say a bit more about it. Um, yeah, a few of you have got onto a few interesting things and hoping to help complete this knowledge with you all. Um, see here the famous, infamous left eye bruising. Um, certain TV personalities and <clears throat> pillars of our society unfortunately um, and you seem to have stumbled across the Archontic connection which is also a Jinn and Grey Alien connection don't give me any of this, they're not all bad shit. I'll tell you what's fucking what here, okay? Don't tell me you have the discernment to know the difference. Because I know you don't. It's pretty hard to know where to start with this subject. I mean, it goes all over the show. Been checking out a few other people's videos. Um... Well, yeah, where do we start? The significance of the left eye? Since we're on the subject. Okay. Well, the left eye, as we are aware of, is connected to a certain side of the brain. Now, I'm pretty sure that is the right brain that is the creative or artistic side the abstract and even the side that finds a relationship with the divine feminine which is the key to higher knowledge and not the right brain logical dogmatic methodical analytical side of things it's a unification, of course, it's a balance, but um, <laughs> when you're talking about the core of higher perception, yeah, you're straight into the divine feminine there. Now all these, like, you know, biological expressions of that are only that, I mean, you're talking male, male and female, these things start in consciousness and even spirit, firstly foremostly and their attributes are firstly and foremostly uh, consciousness and awareness and <clears throat> secondly whatever the trickle down is a uh, male or biological female form now <clears throat> speaking of biology a lot of you think these worms um, some of you have called them archontic worm parasites, and that is very, very accurate and very impressed. Um, yeah, it's you, you blew my mind with that one because yeah, I know from personal experience who and what put a worm into me. But the biological thing, there is a biological version. And it's like 
also amoebas, other parasites, viral um, connections which um, all belong in the same category certain ancient people have even evolved with these viruses and parasites amoebas in their system and uh, in turn have evolved their consciousness into a viral parasitic thing hence the Archon and uh, this is the danger this is the danger of being in your little club here and getting your little black eye initiation nice struck to the eye very symbolic ritualistic um, the symbolism obviously represents the damage to the right brain the higher way of thinking and a, um, a grounding in the lower lower forms now there is a higher thinking to this lower form and it is uh, being expressed all over the world through these so-called leaders and heroes that you see it's quite um, quite disheartening um, let's see if another picture sparks any just more now this is the symbol for the archons as you can see it's like a serpentine uh, worm-like creature if you want with a lion head uh, represents the lion head represents Yaldabaoth the lion-headed deity um, Lord Archon and serpent of oh, um, yeah represents the um, reptilian connection so what these things are trying to really say is they're showing you a genetic combination now ideally this is a distortion now perfection here also creates a distortion but there are also other distortions that hold power um, now when you look at other combination genetic mammal I mean like animal combinations you can find like the feathered serpent in the mire and that represents a more ideal we know birds and reptiles are closely related so we see a higher more uh, unified entity there I know a lot of you think it's all satanic shit but um yeah before Jesus we needed something um, and the feathered serpent was all we had you can find uh, that crew in Egypt too if you'll see on the Pharaoh's headdress most of them only have a serpent but in the line of Akhenaten and his predecessors like Tutmosis um, you'll see the serpent and the bird on the headdress on the headdress together um, yeah but this this shows a distortion like m mammalian and reptilian uh, consciousness does not really fit there it definitely is a distortion and um, something against nature I think that's the key to um, what these things are on about they're against, it doesn't matter how much they profess caring caring for the earth they're, they are at war with the earth because they know who it belongs to an attack on the earth is an attack on us the true children and against the creator very simple uh, don't think I'm even going to elaborate on that 
Um, uh, when you look at the the grey connection, the grey looks like a fetus in a way, a reptilian fetus more so, undeveloped. Now this may be a key to how they were created, taking an un incomplete or unformed creature and progressing it from that state. So what we have is a big baby, um, something that is lacking something, uh, a big baby lion into the gates of Babylon, and other abstractions. Now there's a connection I feel with the uh, left eye bruising, which is uh, connected to the right brain. Um, its connection is in the dreaming realms and as I said uh, this is not a biological creature we are talking about specifically in this video like I said there is a biological parasite association with this or with other fucking viral associations which we'll get into I think I've even done a video on the virus the virus born of virus an animal virus in the human genome <clears throat> but yeah okay so when I first came across the worm I was uh, beginning my dreaming practices and the uh, there is where you will find the dweller at the gates. They are waiting. They are waiting for you to come in. Bam! Implanted. Fucking tag and release. Fucking next thing you know, your genetics are being manipulated. Your brain's neural pathways are being rewired, and you're in a fucking fight for your life. I mean, this, this can go any sort of way. It can create all sorts of illnesses. Unless you feed into it. Uh, but it does have biological effects. Now, the way it gets in is through the luminous body. Now, when I do my dreaming, it starts off. You close your eyes and you'll see a little portal after a while rock up. It's just like a circle in front of you. Uh, black vision. Images appear in the circle. You can travel in and out of it. The circle becomes closer, larger. Now I believe that is how they get in. Because I've seen, and there's another, let's show you, I'll show you a picture of something if I can get it. No, I can't get it. Can't find it. So, in the Maya, there's a picture of a stucco, I mean, not a picture, it's an actual thing. Um, there's a stucco head of Lord Pakal of the Maya, and you can't really see it, but there's a certain book where you can see it, and there's a circle in the corner of the eye. And it's just there, it's like, what the hell is that? And no one knows, not even the book that pointed it out had any idea, but that is the non-biological psychic eye that can open up anywhere in the universe. Um, I'll probably, I might show you that at the end of the vid, the stucco mind head talking about um, so I believe they get in through the energy body the luminous body now I'll give you a description of the worm exactly I'll give you a few descriptions of it um, a 
like I said, it didn't look like a fucking, like this thing. It was quite different. It was more like a fucking enlarged, quite brightly luminous sperm. And uh, like I seen it while I was awake and it was trapped within my luminous body or if you will and uh, yeah it was definitely implanted there and I could feel it affecting me <laughs> in various ways and when I seen it moved it moves if I can show you here say that my cursor is the worm it was in front of my vision it moves like this across it just keeps going like that now that will keep you in a certain state this thing draws in your consciousness might be just a little dot like one of the someone's taken you know like a fuzzy TV set taken one of those little dots away yeah and they've put it in there that thing is now your god the god dot a point of light which will consume consume you completely um, there's the mind stuck ahead you can't I couldn't find any picture which was clear and close and good enough to show you the uh, psychic eye but that's it anyway you'll find it in a book called super gods by Maurice Cotterell or something uh, you'll get a nice extreme close-up I mean the, even the color of this is like yeah it just doesn't seem it's more like that color so yeah that's how they get in and that's why I mean people think oh it's not safe to practice lucid dreaming and sometimes and all these shit things and I'll tell you what there are fucking dangers but it's probably less safe not to be practicing dreaming with these things right there just behind the veil um, controlling um, <clears throat> now the virus already has control and the driving force in our subconscious you add this sort of thing to it you've got no fucking hope in hell unless you know exactly what you're doing now this the thing that put it in me was definitely a gin I mean I've seen it numerous times um, it even appeared like that like this uh, little psychic guy I'm telling you like it appears within that even while I'm awake it'll rock up in the psychic guy it'll be like over somewhere in the distance and uh, it'll look small but as it gets closer like things on the fourth dimension appear further away and small but as it gets closer it grows larger and it I don't know the potential there <clears throat> for total possession was extremely high <clears throat> um, you can see here this is a picture of the movie Dreamcatcher so people know about it it's good that people know I'm quite happy with that we're not all just delusional but yeah the movie Dreamcatcher um, one worm they had to stop, that was killing the, going to kill the world and so here we have some sort of alien entity his little pet worm on his shoulder yeah quite a good movie, it was quite freaky um, one dude walked out of the cinema that I was in when I seen it, he couldn't take it I knew what he was on about, I could see him twitching and even I was twitching on like this shit's too fucking real dog okay anyway we see a fucking someone found this pick and I ripped it off him. Uh, it's 
what do you call it? exorcism this dude here's exercising this dude and fucking you can see the little worm coming out of him I'll tell you what I definitely needed an exorcism but I got rid of it and the thing is they can keep fucking shooting you up with this shit like there was one time I was in a dream and someone actually shot one into me and like a bit later in the dream seen something poking out of my skin and I looked at it I pulled at it I'm like holy fuck and I pulled out this fucking worm out of myself and it was fucking disgusting and it was squirming and you know what it looked like it looked a bit like this now this is an Egyptian relief um, I think it's probably more Sumerian I think someone suggested influenced uh, the way of Ishtar uh, but this one was more accurate than the Sumerian because when I pulled out this worm which looked like this and those little things teeth on it and I threw it and it turned into a little fucking innocent cat um, just looking all nonchalant style and that was bullshit. Now I think the connection is there because cats have a lot of parasites, including Bornavirus. Now, you wonder who's really the pet and why these things are in our such close proximity. It's fair enough having them run around when you're there sniffing the toxo toxoplasms from its feces and stuff and uh, you're in a fucking world of danger, an unseen, unseen danger. So yeah, that's all I'll probably say for now. Um, all these little club fuckers. Um, it's an initi initiation thing. Yeah, it doesn't get them anywhere. I mean, the most celebrities are just sucked into it. They don't know any better. They just think, probably, yeah, this is cool shit. Uh, all it does is destroy your potential for high connections. Places that degenerate this perception into the world, which creates it. Especially in great numbers and in some unaware agreement that people have these things. Doesn't matter if you're a good person. Don't kill anyone directly. It's it's killing us. It's killing us all. This shit is very fucking real. You better start to learn to perceive fourth, fifth dimension at least, or you're going down like fucking no tomorrow. Um, well, what else can I say? I guess I'll leave you with. Uh, came in with a bit of a uh, Rob Zombie. Um, maybe we'll go to a bit of Manson this time. Each time I make my mother cry, an angel dies and falls from heaven. When the boy is still a worm. It's hard to learn the number seven. Now in Egypt, yeah, okay, that's another vid. But when you when they get to you, it's the first thing that they do. Each time I look outside, my mother dies. I feel my back is changing shape. When the worm consumes the boy, it's never ever considered rape when they get to you.